Man, toy collecting really is such a gamble. So there are a lot of rumours going around that Masters of the Universe as a franchise might be dying out once more. I have the and though I am really hoping this is not the case, evidence isn't looking too good. For starters, we fans all know that later this year Mattel will lose their first refusal rights to manufacture Masters of the Universe product to Universal, meaning that current toy lines may be pulled in order to initiate better deals. As well as this, the more kid-based CGI Netflix show has been cancelled, and Kevin Smith's show received mixed reviews. And then, as if things couldn't get any worse, rumours have begun to spread that all three current lines of action figure have indeed been dropped by retail. Now, to be fair, the somewhat good news with this last one is that if this is indeed true, then time is still on our side. We collectors still have a chance. After all, these toy companies often work years in advance when creating a toy line, which means that even if retail is indeed dropping the franchise from their shelves, there is still a high chance for new product reaching fans through online stores. But then what does this mean when those next two to three years is up? What then? Well, sadly, it means it's over. And what we have is what we have. As with everything in this collecting game, it's all just one big gamble, and the house, in this case Mattel, won't want to lose. They won't want to admit defeat until the very last moment. After all, it's important to them that we fans continue to play along and purchase their already planned, contracted and paid for releases. Now, as I said, I hope to God that none of these rumours are true. And I hope that we do get more Masterverse and Origin figures for many years to come. But sometimes it's worth calling it a night before you lose too much. After all, over the years, many of us have been burnt before. Thanks for watching.